Alright, I'm ready to record, so uh, now we can get this started. Fate Stay Night, uh, another good episode. Not much to talk about, uh, again. <laughs> the, we the reason why there's not really much to talk about when I review Fate Stay Night is because it's simple. It's a really good show, and there's not really much to go into other than saying it's a really good show. I have, like, a total of, like, six notes down, which is half of what I usually have for everything else. But we'll go into it regardless. I wasted 30 seconds, and I've done my time in extending this video. Good job, Sooty Tooty. Shiro is, uh, finna get it in with, uh, three other girls. Good job, Shiro. Just back off my waifu. Shinji, uh, is clearly going to get his, uh, he, he's gonna get destroyed. Uh, I can't wait to actually see him die just because I don't like his character. And, of course, he's not supposed to be liked. He's clearly a dick. And, uh, Sudi Damas was right because, uh, he pretty much confirmed that he the pur he's the purple-haired chick's master. That, if I'm correct, is Ryder. Somebody told me that Ryder was a girl. Not gonna say who, because you don't get a shout-out. <laughs> but yeah, Ryder's supposed to be a girl. That's supposed to be Ryder. It's whatever. She has a chain. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> but like I said, I predicted, uh, you know, Sudi Gadamas just has to keep shouting that out. The lighting and the visuals were really excellent. They, they were done well. As always, because it's ufotable. <laughs> what I do like, though, and I think this is the biggest part of the episode that a lot of people probably won't credit the episode for, uh, this is the thing that I actually wanted the anime to do most. For once in this universe, we got an explanation of how Mano was manipulated. Yes, they... Uh, they they finally did it <laughs> i i did really didn't think they'd actually do it but there finally was how shiro was explaining how strengthening magic works then he showed a demonstration that's what i like that's what i like more of and it wasn't anything that needed to happen in or it wasn't anything that needed to be put in the anime it just would have made it more interesting now there are only two questions i have one of them it can be a flaw if essentially if it's not answered and the second one is just like, oh, uh, we'll figure out about it. So number one is the flaw. How the hell did Archer know where Shiro was? I I'm just wondering. If they stated it, just tell me in the comments. Uh, or if you know how they do it without spoiling it or skipping ahead, just tell me in the comments. But d the other question is just why are Caster and Assassin collaborating? There could be a possibility that there are two, like, Tosoka or not Tosokas, but, uh, Matos in the war. That would be really weird, but the question is, who would Shinji be collaborating with? And I think, or, or not Shinji, but, uh, Cast this is Caster and Assassin, but who, wh who are their masters, and why are they collaborating more so? Uh, it seems as if, like, Caster's supposed to be there to work behind, you know, the strings while Assassin keeps her safe. It makes a lot of sense in terms of, like, strategy, but who the hell is behind it? But anyways, that's all. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. Uh, deuces!